the Virginia Miocene. We are out on the Potomac River on this really gray, miserable day, taking a look at these really awesome cliffs. I am wearing a hard hat right now because I don't want this to fall on my head. Well, if I hear a crumbling, I'm going to just go. bottom and all this lovely landslide material, I found this cool little shell here. There you are. I'm going to pull out my tools here and I'm going to see if I can get this out. It looks like a nice little persister. Oh baby, take a look at that. This isn't exactly where I found it. You missed the great aha moment. This is a really totally awesome whale vertebra. It still has one of the processes on it. These usually break off. Somebody was just telling me he was looking at the cliff and wondering what made huge gouges in the cliff and figured out that it was this vertebra coming down out of the wall. This is actually sitting here where I found it. So let's see what's under here because I don't know yet. But it's uh, Broken up the shell. Still nothing to write home about, but that is definitely something to write home about. So we came back to where we found the vertebra. And if you take a look at the wall here, right, I don't know if I can point at it. Right there are a couple of deep gouges, very recent gouges in the wall. Looks like maybe the this is where the vertebra came down. We look way out there. Oh, well, focus, focus. Right at the top here, there is a hole where you can. There we go. Right at the top there, you can see there's a great big hole where it probably came out. Alright, here's something pretty good. See how whole it is. Ooh. Look at that. That's a pretty one. That is an Echora snail. Let's see. State fossil of Maryland. Which I'm not in right now, but we're close. Okay, this is my lucky day today. Uh, look at this. Look at that. Why is it that every time we come to the Virginia Miocene, it rains, it pours? We're supposed to get an half an inch this afternoon, so it's not as bad as it could be. Tomorrow the weather is supposed to be 30 mile an hour winds, and the last time we were here, they almost swamped the boat because it was so windy, the whitecaps came out of nowhere. So, eh, we're done for today.